So my wife got a fish tank for Christmas from my parents, and we knew it was coming, so I had media ready to go and everything. The tank didn't necessarily have to be cycled. So I kind of used it. I was hoping to call some of my shrimp from my five-gallon chi, and I put five or six in. Uh, I put six in. Five were males, one was a female. The female is the only one that died. And they have colored up quite a bit compared to what they were. They were transparent when I pulled them out of the chi. And they now have quite a bit of red coloration to them. So the substrate does matter. That's a good lesson to learn, I think, for anybody trying to breed shrimp. So she uh, wants to do a glowfish tank. And uh, as you can see, we have one of the blue glowfish danios already. Um, she wants to add two purples and one green glowfish danio yet to the tank and have a little school of four. Uh, they'll look pretty cool flitting around the tank. Um, she also wants to add one of each color of the glowfish tetras. So a purple, a green, and I think the other one's blue. Um, and have them swim around. And then when we were at the local fish store today, the or yesterday, she spotted an x-ray tetra there, and it was his last one in the tank, and she said she absolutely loved it. So we added that to the tank, thinking it would be pretty cool, and it certainly is, having most of its body be transparent and only its fins and eyes highlighted. So we're going to let this tank go for a week or two, maybe three, and then we're going to add the rest of the Danios because they all carry such a low bio load. And then once we know that the tank is stabilized again, we're going to add the other tetras then. So we have a total of seven or eight fish in this tank. Um, these are some geodes that we found at our fish store back home when we were there for the holidays. Uh, they were really cool looking and we picked some up. I tied some java moss to the back of it. Uh, I think we're just going to let this grow out and kind of fill in the bottom of the tank. Uh, my parents, my mom specifically, has been trying to breed some shrimp and they came across these deep blue sponge filters. Uh, they're huge for the capacity compared to the hydro uh, sponge filters, but they have a neat little attachment at the top that lets you put an air stone in the middle a lot easier than it is with one of the hydro or air, uh, air powered sponge filters. So, uh, kind of a shameless plug, that's a really nice sponge filter there. Um, the rest of this tank, we have a little bubbling LED light, but we're not going to make it bubble because she has this cool jellyfish up here, but it just looks so cool sitting above that blue light. Eventually, we're going to have some wisteria floating in the tank. It's growing up right now. The other thing that I want to point out is this tank has really good water flow. I was kind of skeptical. Um, this is the nano 8-gallon biotope. And what happens is the water comes in, the filter inlet, or outlet, is up in the corner there, and it, you can see it pushing the bubbles from the air stone down into the water. And that lets you kind of visualize all of the flow, and you can see the bubbles kind of trace all the way down across the front of the tank, and then they start to rise just before the jellyfish again. So that kind of tells me that the, the water flow goes way down across the tank and down to this intake that I covered with an AquaClear sponge for if the shrimp had babies. So all told, this tank was really impressive to me, um, and it looks a lot like the air stone right there is going to help aerate it a lot better because you wind up with all those micro bubbles getting pushed down through the water column quite a ways. That gives a lot of surface area for the gas exchange to happen. So I'm hoping that the plants will thrive. The java moss is already getting some white tips on it, indicating that it's about to take off growing really, really aggressively. Uh, in my experience, when it gets those tips, it starts growing really quickly, usually an inch every couple of weeks or so. It gets massive really quick because it grows in all directions that quickly. So we're going to see. This tank seems to be pretty cool. I'll, uh, I'll post some updates of it, too.